Hello, my name is Mimikat and welcome to my step-by-step -step tutorial or playthrough of the minigame in the anniversary event. In this video, I will play through two full boards. The first one I will do using the solver that I've shared in my previous videos. The second one I will do using the step-by-step -step guide that I've included in my written guide. Uh, now I have actually updated this slightly since my video on it. I have added some screenshots to better uh, explain what I mean with each of these steps. And I have also added one more step, uh, but uh, I'll talk about that when I get there. The first board I will solve using this solver. Now, before I begin, if you find this helpful, feel free to share it with your friends and guildmates, and also make sure to leave a like and comment on the video. All right, let's get started. How does this work? Well, the first step is to actually buy some gems. And I think what I will do is that I will follow the... Let's do 10 gems per board. So follow the strategy where you play uh, four games per day and you buy 10 gems each board. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is actually a really good example. So sometimes uh, when using this, this strategy of only buying 10 gems uh, each board, you can come to a situation like this where I didn't spawn any green gems. Uh, if this happens, my recommendation is to continue to spend until you find one green gem. This does mean you spend a little bit more, uh, which you either subtract from another day, or if you do pick up enough from incidents, you are able to spend a few additional gems every now and then. So let's see how we do one extra, two extra. So this is where I will stop. Uh, and, and yeah, this is where I will stop. Okay, now we should start solving these, and we should do that one color after the other. Uh, I don't really need to enter the information here for, <laughs> for uh, the green ones, because I don't have a lot of choice. But just to explain how it's done, I will do it regardless. So, here we have the solver on the left side. Uh, so yeah, let's start entering the numbers. Uh, here I need to enter these eight numbers and these four numbers. So what do these mean? Well... Uh, if you have the Foe Helper, it uh, does definitely helps because here you can see uh, each of the available uh, locked gems in each color and where the key parts are. Uh, and a quick side on that, <laughs> in the game files, uh, this piece here, the round piece is called the bottom piece and the tip here is called the top piece. Uh, I know quite a few disagree with that. I think I would uh, agree with you there. I think it makes more sense to flip them. But because that is what they are called in-game, that's what I will continue using in this video. I've used it in my guides and so on. Uh, but it doesn't really matter as long as you are consistent. It doesn't matter which one you call top and bottom. Anyways, let's start entering in the numbers. So the first entry here is the level locked level 1 um, gems you have that have a bottom piece. So in this scenario, we have one of these, uh, which is located there. So we enter... Oh, sorry. We enter a 1 here. And then we just keep on going. So when it comes to the top pieces for level 1, we have two of those. Uh, and we can just continue. We have one each of the le locked level 2 gems. Level 3, we have one bottom and two uh, top pieces. Uh, and for the level 4 gems, we have three bottoms and no uh, top pieces. So this, it really helps having the foe helper to get the, all of these numbers there. But if you don't, you simply count uh, each, uh, how many there are of each. All right, and then we need to enter how many free gems we have. Here we only have one green gem, a level one gem. So we can use that. We can click this uh, triangle symbol here to solve. And it should now suggest uh, or give you a suggested path on how to solve this. So let's follow it. Um, and here it says you get one out of five keys which is the maximum keys with the gems spawned. Uh, I only spawned one free gem, and you can only get as many keys as the number of free gems you spawned. So, let's follow it. First, we should merge the free level 1 gem with the locked level 1 top piece. So, let's do that. And then we should merge that, the free level 2 top piece, with a locked level 2 bottom piece. So, this one here. And then we should level or merge the free one here with a locked level 3 bottom piece. It doesn't matter which of the uh, level 3 gems you pick, but let's just follow it, why not? 
And there we have, there we go. Now we have a level four gem uh, with a full key piece, which is the best we can do with what we spawned with. Uh, but as you can see here, the final step is to merge the free level four full with each of the locked level four gems. And this we do so we get some additional points. So let's just do that one after the other. And there we go. That's the best we can do with what we spawned with when it comes to the green ones. So let's move on to, let's do blue this time. So uh, if you, if the, uh, when you use the solver, if you can't find the place where we enter the uh, data, click on this edit symbol up here, the pencil symbol up there, and you'll get back to this page. So now let's do the same for the blue. Let me first enter in all of this data. So we have, uh, we have zero bottom pieces there. We have one, and then we have one and two. We have zero each of these, and we have three each of these. So let's just go through it once again, just to be safe. So level one bottom pieces, we don't have any of those. Level one top pieces, we have one, which we can find here. Uh, level two bottom piece, we have one, uh, which we can find here. Uh, level two top piece, we have two of them, so we have one here and one here and so on. Um, so hopefully you get the idea, this is how you enter the data. Uh, now we need to enter the three gems we spawned. We spawned uh, two uh, level one gems. We spawned one level two gem and one level three gem of the blue uh, and no level four gems. So let's try to solve it. Let's see how we do. All right, so here we have likely best possible solution. All right, that's not guaranteed. So let's see if we did indeed find the best uh, solution. Uh, so this isn't guaranteed. That's something I do want to stress. Uh, unless it says so here, it's not guaranteed, but it is probably the best solution. So let's follow it still. So first we should level, uh, 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 let's see. Oh, I think I might have entered in incorrect values here. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Uh, we only have one. Uh, I was confused a little bit. So we have two level one uh, gems, but we only have one locked one. So we can only oh, we can only uh, merge it once. So we should merge one of the three level one gems with the locked level one top gem. So this one here. Uh, we should now merge the three level two top gem, which is this one. We should merge that with a locked level two bottom gem, uh, which we can find over there. So there we have the first full key. And then we have one free level two uh, gem, which we should merge with a locked level two uh, gem with a top piece. Uh, we have, yeah, that's the only ones we have remaining. So either one of those. All right. Then moving on to the level three merges. The first one is to merge the level three full piece with one of the three pieces. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, uh, this is correct. I only have, I think I might've done something wrong. Did I enter in incorrect values here? Uh, uh, uh. I did, uh, I did. This should only be one. Yeah, that's only one. So my bad, <laughs> let's uh, continue. Uh, it's still the same process up until this point. So there you see the value of entering in the correct va uh, values. Um, so yeah, we only have one here. Uh, we can only do one merge with level three pieces because we only have three here. Uh, so I will merge this with this to get a full key. Uh, and that is, that it, this is the best we can do with what we started with. And then same thing we did last time, we merged this uh, full key here with all of the locked keys in turn. Uh, and we do that to get progress towards the grand prizes uh, and also to get the rewards here. All right, there we go. So that is the blue, not the best board this, uh, <laughs> this board. Um, all right, now let's move on to the reds finally. All right, let's go up here and let's enter the values here. Uh, we have three bottom pieces there with a bottom or locked level one pieces with a bottom. We have two here, we have three each here and then none above. This will be interesting. I wonder how many I'll be able to, <laughs> to create, how many keys I'll be able to create. Uh, we have one, two level two pieces, 
we have one, two, three uh, level two pieces. We have no uh, level three, three gems, and we have two level four, which we're not going to get much use out of. All right, let's solve it. Let's see how we do. Three keys. Oh, that's better than I thought. But uh, yeah, one of them is level three and two of them are level four. So that's not too bad uh, based on what uh, <laughs> the initial state there. So let's go. First, merge a free level one with a level one top. And the next one is a bottom piece. So we do one each here. So uh, one each. There we go. All right. And then we merge a free level two top with a locked level two bottom and then flipped with the bottom one. This is quite a common pattern. So now I merge this with this to create a full key there. I merge that uh, with this to get the full key here. And then finally, I merge each of the level two pieces here uh, with a locked level two piece, uh, a top, a bottom and a top. All right, so uh, a top, a bottom, and a top, there we go. All right, then finally, a free level three bottom plus a free level three top. So a free level three bottom with a free level three top, there we go. And then finally, a free uh, level three full gem with a free level three top gem. So this and this, and there we go. There we have the three keys, two of them level four and one of them level three. And that's the best we can do with this game. And actually, this is quite a poor game, I would say. Uh, on average, uh, on beta, when I played with this strategy, I was able to get 18 keys. So can definitely get more. Um, so yeah, that's quite a, bo a poor result. But still, let's merge all the keys. Or convert, sorry, all the keys. And there we go. We can now continue on to the next board. Uh, at this point, it's definitely not worth trying to clear out the board. So I will continue on to the next board. All right, let's try this one. This one also looks very interesting. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, this one I will be following the step-by-step -step plan that I lay out here in my written guide. All right, so... Uh, first of all, let me spawn some gems. Uh, I will try to do 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There we go. I think that should be quite all right. And let's start with, uh, let's start with the green ones first. So we don't have any level <laughs> we don't have any level one gems, so we can skip over the first part here. Let's move on to part number two, merging level two gems. All right, so here we have the level two gems. This first step here uh, probably does, uh, no, it does not apply in this case. So this is a very specific step. It's a new one that I added, but let me quickly go through it. So here, if I have, if you have two uh, free gems without a key piece, uh, which I do have here, uh, if we do green now, I do have two here. Uh, with the opposite piece, and I have two locked level uh, gem, uh, level two gems with opposing key parts, as you can see here, uh, which I don't have in this case, which is where this breaks down, and I also have two uh, locked level three gems with opposing pieces, uh, then I should merge these like this, but uh, that doesn't apply, so let's move on to step one. So merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. Again, that does not apply in this example with green because neither of these three level two pieces have any gems, uh, any, any key pieces, sorry. So let's move on to step two. Uh, merge three gems that don't have key pieces with gems that do have key pieces. And that's where we will go now. Uh, now, in this situation, I can only choose uh, the bottom pieces here. So that's what I'll do. I'll merge uh, the, these two into these two. Uh, but if you can choose, you should choose the one that you have uh, the least of in the higher uh, levels or the levels above. But, uh, but yeah, in this case, we'll simply merge these like that. And then we can skip over this last step, merge any remaining gems. We don't have any remaining level 2 gems. All right, then let's move on to level 3 gems. Uh, here we have a similar situation where if you have two free level 3 gems, uh, to uh, either free or locked level three gems with opposing key pieces, 
and same uh, to level 4 uh, gems with opposing key pieces. You should merge all of these. We don't have that, so let's move on to step number uh, 1. Merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. Now for level 3 here, uh, we don't have any opposing key pieces. We only have these two, so naturally we will merge these. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Uh, if you have a free level 3 gem without a key piece, and both a locked level 3 and level 4 gem with opposing key pieces merge the two level 3 gems. Um, yeah, that doesn't apply here, but uh, here we also can see the image explanation. I think I'll just move on. Uh, step number 3 here, merge level 3 gems that have full keys with other level 3 gems. Again, we don't have any full keys, so we can skip over that step as well. Finally, merge any remaining gems. So that is what we will do. We will merge these two. All right, then, finally, we are at step number four, merging the level four gems. Uh, so, merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. So here we have a bottom piece, here we have a top piece. Let's merge those. All right. Now, this one does not apply, but if I had, had spawned a level four green gem and I had these two pieces, I would merge all of those three together. That does not apply. Then finally, step three, merge any free level four gem with all remaining locked gems. So I will merge this with the remaining locked gems, which is only that. And there we go. That is the solution for green. Now let's do the same for blue. Let's move up to step number one. So merging level one gems. So here we have two level one gems. We have three uh, locked level one gems, sorry. Uh, so let's uh, follow the step here. And the rule here is that you should, at each turn, you should uh, unlock the uh, piece or lock the gem with the key piece you have the least of in the higher levels. So in this scenario, we have uh, four, um, yeah, here we have four uh, bottom pieces and we have five top pieces, uh, six top pieces, sorry. So in this scenario, we should merge uh, there. Now we have five uh, bottom pieces in the levels above level one, and we ha still have six bottom pieces, uh, top pieces, sorry. So again, I will merge it there like that. All right, now let's move on to level two. So first one here, if you have two free level two gems, uh, I don't have two free level two gems, so I don't need to continue with that. Let's move on to step number one. Merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. All right, so here uh, we do have some opposing key pieces. So here I can merge this into this and I will get a full key. Nice. Uh, and that's all the opposing key pieces I have. Then merge three gems that don't have key pieces with gems that do have key pieces. So we can do that. We can merge this. Uh, in this scenario, we can choose between these three. But whenever you have a choice between locked and free, always choose a locked one. Uh, and in this case, both of these are the same, uh, or all of these uh, options here are the bottom piece, so it doesn't matter. But if you can choose between top and bottom, then you should pick the one you have the least of in the in level three and four. Uh, but in this case, I'll just merge it there. And then finally, merge any remaining gems, which in this scenario is this with this. All right, there we go. Now we have these three level three gems to merge with, so let's move on to step number three. If you have two free level three gems without key pieces, again, I don't, so we can skip over that part. Merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. All right, do we have that? Well, we can merge this with an opposing key part here, so let's do that. Can we merge this with any opposing key pieces? No, we can't. We don't have any more, uh, or we don't have any <laughs> more level three gems to merge it with. Definitely not one with the opposing key piece. So let's move on to step number two. If you have a free level three gem, I don't. So we can move ahead to the next step. Merge level three gems that have full keys with other level three gems. So that is what I will do here now. I will merge these, and there we go. I now have these level four pieces. So let's move on to step four for merging the level four gems. All right, first of all, merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. 
uh, neither of the three gems we have uh, have any key pieces, so we can move on to the next step. If you have any spawned level 4 gems, we don't, so we can skip over that step as well. And finally, merge any 3 level 4 gem with all remaining locked gems. Again, this is to get the progress, so that's what I'll do. I'll just merge this with all of these locked gems here for the points and the rewards. Alright, there we go. Now let's finally move on to red and see how we can do there. So let's go back to the top. Uh, 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 here we go, merging level 1 gems. I have one uh, level 1 gem and I have four uh, locked level 1 gems, so let's figure out which one. So, if, uh, if you can choose, you should choose the one you have, or the piece, key piece you have the least of in the higher levels. So here I have uh, seven uh, bottom pieces, but only three uh, to, uh, top pieces. So that means I should merge it with one of the top pieces. So there we go. Now let's move on to level two. Uh, level two. If you have two free level two gems without key pieces, uh, I do have that. I do have those there. If you have two locked and or three level two gems with opposing key pieces, uh, and I do have that. I have bottom pieces, I have top pieces, uh, and I have two level 3 gems with opposing key pieces. Let's see if I have. Uh, I have a bottom piece, I have a top piece. So in this scenario, we actually have this uh, new step that I've added as an example. So in this scenario, what you should do is that you should merge these two uh, level uh, 2 gems with each of the, uh, or with the locked level 2 gems uh, of opposing key pieces. So bottom piece there, a top piece there. And then uh, you can do it now or you can wait until the next step. We can merge uh, these with the locked level three pieces of the opposing key piece. Uh, I'll wait until the next uh, step, the next level. So we do all level twos first and then level three. Uh, but yeah, there we have a situation where this applies. And uh, now we only have one free level two gem without a key piece. So we can move ahead to the next step merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. So here we have one locked level two gem here with a top piece. And do we have any bottom pieces? We do. So now we can merge that with that. All right, so that's now our level three pieces. We do still have one more remaining level two gem, uh, but you can't merge one gem. So let's move on to step three, merging level three gems. All right, so step zero here. The new one, if you have two free level three gems, which I don't, so we can move ahead to the next one. Step one, merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. And that's kind of the follow up from the step in the previous, uh, in the previous level. So we can now merge these with the opposing key pieces. There we go. We now have two full keys here at level four. All right. We don't have any key pieces left now at level three. So let's move on. If you have a free level 3 gem, I don't, so we can move on to the next step. Merge level 3 gems that have full keys with other level 3 gems. So here I have a full piece, so now I can merge it with either of these level 3 gems. Let's just do that. And there we go, that is all the level 3 gems taken care of. So we can now move on to the final step to merge all the level 4 gems. So. Merge any two gems with opposing key pieces. We don't have any key pieces left of the three gems, so we can move ahead. If you have spawned, um, if you have any spawned level four gems, we don't. So we can move on to, to the final step, which again is merge any free level four gem with all remaining locked gems. So let's just use this and merge it with all of these locked level four pieces, and there we go. And this one was uh, definitely better than the other one. Uh, I was able to get 18 keys this time uh, for fewer energy as well. And I'm pretty sure I got more progress as well. So that's nice. So before I end or continue to the next board, you should always, again, merge all the keys here. And you notice that I do one color after the other. You don't have to. But the reason I do this is that on beta, every now and then it was very, very rare but sometimes when I clicked, it wouldn't apply. 
So if I selected a level 4 gem with a key piece, then tried to click on the converter, but it didn't convert, and then clicked on another red key piece, uh, th those two would merge, which uh, means you would lose those three keys. So that's why I do it. You don't have to do it, but that's why I do zigzag and do alternating colors when I co convert them. Not necessary at all. Alright, I think that's more or less what I want to go through in this video. I hope this was helpful, both on how to use the simulator and also how to apply these steps, uh, step by step. Uh, again, I do want to say that this is not always guaranteed to be the best way, uh, but based on my testing, I believe it will be the best way, or the best solution in the vast majority of games. Uh, so, yeah, I think you can follow this quite happily, uh, either this process here or the simulator. Uh, now, if you are using the simulator, I would make sure to uh, refresh, to reload, because I have made a couple of bug fixes uh, earlier today. So if you're using an old version, you might still have some of those bugs in the solver. Uh, so reload the page. Uh, actually, what I will do, if I go here, uh, 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 let me just call this version 1.3. So if you see a 1.3 there, then you should know that it is uh, the latest version. Um, and if you don't see that, reload the page. Hopefully that will give you the right one. Uh, if you don't see it then, uh, go into an incognito tab uh, and open the solver there, or the guide there, and then the solver should be updated. So just make sure to, <laughs> yeah, just make sure that you have the latest version. All right, I think that's all for this video. Again, if you found it helpful, feel free to share it with your friends and guildmates, and feel free to leave a like and a comment. And finally, before I end, let me thank my Patreons for their support. I would like to thank Homestar, Loden, Rokunobin, Kim Kelly, Rolf the Eighth, Dan Simna, Chanti, Hecate, Merrick B, Hugo Count, Von Count, Truth the Generous, Susan Weiss, Rocco, Merton Embrace, Spike from No Remorse, Privacy Avenger, Ashborn, Henrik Darklabe, Mattia, Obsidian Obsessed, Raf, Otaril, Mike, Wolfboy, Atomic, Ruth, Flavius Belisarius, Karen, and Dennis. Thanks a lot for support, thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future. Bye bye.